Welcome everybody to the Horror Experiment, a horror map specially released by Mick5. Well, not specially released, but any Mick release is special to me, so specially released. I I'm kind of going a little bit rogue on that description, but that's okay. I am very excited to finally be bringing you all the full, uh, the full release of the map. Uh, there are jump scares, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, there is a very brief tutorial period before you actually get into this room. Um, I just quick ran through it because we covered the tutorial uh, very early on in, the, in, a, in a demo. I, I actually got the 40 minute demo version of this that I played through, so I'm very happy. So I was again very appreciative of Mick to give me that opportunity to review the demo and play the demo as well. But we did the we did the tutorial in the demo, so I I, I liked to to, uh, to skip it this time around. Uh, some of the map credits uh, I'd like to take a moment to uh, do credits here. Uh, uh, credit to to me, uh, uh, credit to me for the map trailer and the playthrough and the bug testing. Uh, I'm going through the playthrough right now and uh, it's also doubling as bug testing. A uh, map trailer. Once we're done with the playthrough, I'll record back through. I'll record back through on my own and do all the trailer work. Uh, Naruto FF for more bug testing and the Nix for the better leaves pack. And then we have uh, Nathan uh, Totten. Totten. I'm gonna butcher that. Nathan for uh, doing all the all the vo voicing all the characters. Uh, of course, all the music in here is uh, royalty free. Uh, Mick, Greg, Nathan for that. And then Mick, of course, for all the builds, the story, commands, everything that everything else that you see here, all done by Mick5. And again, I'd like to reiterate that all the music in this map is already used in Minecraft and can be used in YouTube videos. Everything is, is royalty-free. So if you're a content creator and you want to play through this map, you don't have to worry about any content claims. So there is some things to get set up in the map. I went ahead and already and did that for myself. So let's go start. Already read everything. Let's go start. I am playing this map in broad daylight because I'm a weenie and a ch and a coward and a chicken. I don't know if it was uh, me or Mick Five that said that uh, this map is <sighs> that this map is more of a uh, a Resident Evil esque map than a horror map or. A Wow. For the past six months, you that have voice. been living in a quiet little town called Little Stable. Your mission here, find any information on the disappearance of the eight residents that once lived here. With all the data you have gathered, your findings point to the Grey Orphanage beyond the forest. Mm -hmm. And this... Story. Oh. <laughs> oh, th thank you, scary narrator man. Th thank you, thank you, truly, thank you. All right, all right. I'm getting up. Bloody alarm. Uh, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. I better get up. Agent Leroy will be calling soon. I should have a quick shower to wake up. I am also wearing my my lucky my lucky hoodie here for this. I am wearing my lucky hoodie for this, as you can see, because uh, Lord knows I'm gonna need all the all the luck and help I can get to get through this map. The uh, where's the shower room? Uh, it's kitchen. Shower. Here we go. Stand here. I'm showering. Oh, that's better. Good. I feel awake now. Good. All right. I should head upstairs. Agent Leroy will be calling any time now. Yes, Agent Leroy will. Something I would like to point out here. Mick did make a little custom thing there for Zelda and the Minish Cap. Or not Zelda, Link to the Past, because he is a huge fan of, of uh, Zelda. I think there's another Zelda game in there. And that'll be Agent Leroy. Oh, don't right on turn cue. those lights off. Nah, Agent hello? Agent Leroy, right on time, as always. Well, let's... I'm right. Not to 
life is a point. You have been given a green light on the mission agent. Get in there and find out what is happening at the Grey Orphanage. All your work on this case while living here has given us enough evidence for you to proceed. Remember, once at the location, you will have no service and no way of making contact. So be careful, Agent. You don't know what you will find. Find out any information you can about what is going on there. And do try to be a visible agent. You are also authorized to use force if you find it necessary. Now go and put all that training to use. Good luck, Agent. Good. Oh, Good. Try to work out some way of contacting us, Agent, when inside. There will probably be some communication system there somewhere. All Perfect. right. I better go to the top floor and get my gun from my draw before I leave for the forest. Leave for the forest. That's right. Gun? Nice. Click to take my gun. All right. Lots and lots I of ammo. My gun? I better leave. I have a long drive to reach the forest. Now, something I, I would love to point out here is that Mick built this entire city for the sole purpose of existing for a cutscene and and just atmosphere. For like a, we'll, we'll spend all of five minutes in this little town, and yet Mick built it up. He built up this this nice little town for five minutes of the map. I. As far as, like, atmospheric Minecraft making, builds-wise, this Mick is probably one of the best I've ever seen. Also, this next part is really impressive. This is probably one of the coolest things I saw during the demo. I made a friggin' cutscene. And again, this, this city exists only for the purpose of this cutscene. And who makes cutscenes like this? I... I I have said it time and time again, you know, when I, when people ask me what a Minecraft, who's like, what a Minecraft map can be, I always point to what Mick is doing. Like, this is what Minecraft maps can, can be. These are what Minecraft, this is what Minecraft is capable of me, of being. These are by far the best maps I have ever played. And I'm not just saying that, like, I, every map I, I do and review and judge, I do, I, I reference the map pretty much against Mick's work because Mick to me is what is the oh, 40 minutes later is what the the tier uh, is what ma Minecraft maps can and should be maybe not should be but are capable of being I mean look at this I look like I'm driving a car I am driving a car through a forest this forest exists for like a 30 second cutscene and yet it's been painstakingly built up and that, I just find that absolutely mind-blowing. What the hell? Oh, my head. What was that thing I hit? It looked like a giant lizard. Oh, car's broke. Off to a great start. Well, I better get out and see where I am then. It's gotten dark already. I must have been out a while. I should follow this path and see if I am anywhere near the place I was sent to investigate. I think the I think the lizard, the giant lizard, has changed form since uh, I played this map for the first time. Restricted area. I should look around for something I can use to get over this fence. Uh, I think I'm going to. Turn down the music just a little bit. Is that better? It seems better. It seems better to me. So that's that's good enough. All right. Now let's see here. I need to jump the fence. I'm just gonna that down just a touch. Oh, I think this. I. Yep. You can push this. on the purple leaf plant. And now I have an attacking stick. So one thing that they do, that Mick did say in the tutorial that I want to pass on here is that uh, if you explore, you'll find plenty of ammo. I, when I, when I played this the first time, I was afraid of using up too much ammo. 
So I pretty much used the stick the whole time. Which you're really not supposed to do. Oh, also, what's my brightness on? I think brightness is only... Okay, good. My brightness is on max. The brightness is really only intended to be at 50%, but just because it records better game footage, I'm, I keep my brightness cranked. Oh. There are probably wolves around here. I should keep my gun ready just in case. Yes, there are wolves around here. Indeed, there are wolves. Uh, where's... Is this the way out? Yeah, this is the way out. Holy! Oh, there are rats of unusual size here. I forgot about that. I remember that now. I remember that now. I remember that now. Oh, good God. I'm already jumpy. It's broad daylight, and I'm already jumpy. Nice puppy. Oh, not nice puppy. Oh, very bad puppy. Oh, are we going to be able to come to a... That used a lot of ammo. Keep my stick in. Oh, I better just keep the gun out. Oh, these uh, these little purple plants right here. They heal you if you take damage. Let's see here. Gray Orphanage. Oh, uh, this will... Uh... Look at this texture pack. Isn't this just, like, the best texture pack you've ever seen? Nice puppy. Trust me, this hurts me more than it hurts you. Sorry, dog. Ooh, I took damage there. Oh! But not to... Ooh, you son of a... Not to worry. Plant. This whole playthrough is basically going to be me running through. Give me the plant! I can make sure that they're not hiding anything out on me here. Oh. I probably won't end up finding anything through this through this sort of starter area. Nice puppy. Nice puppy. Ooh, the stick does more damage now. That's good to know. <laughs> Dog was rabbit son had to put it down. All right, no more side, no more sidetracking. We need to, we need to get moving here. Hmm. I better look along this fence for a way through. There wasn't the narration uh, this th the first time round. I, I like that there, I like that there's a, that they've got a voice now for narration. Great orphanage this way. Oh, good God. I would not. Ooh, those maggots I just trod on were disgusting. Oh, there's maggots. Look, it's a proper dump. Oh, I thought that was a a rat. It's a it's a garbage bag. I like this texture pack that they use for this. Oh. Do I hear another dog? Yes, I did. And the gray orphanage. I need to find a way to repair this bridge to reach the other side. <sighs> yep. And that's what I was afraid of. This is going really smooth. This first part. Well, I, of course, I played through this first part already. So, if I remember from the demo, I, I actually should have watched the demo in preparation for this uh, in preparation for this playthrough, just so I wasn't reinventing the wheel here. I am going to do just a little bit of exploration. We do need to go inside the scary house. That's that's just the way it's got to be. 
We're going in. Oh, that's a... Uh... Glock ammo. Okay. I don't have a Glock. I have a Beretta. More Glock ammo. Again, I don't have a Glock. I've got a Beretta. Although, let's be real, Glock and Beretta are just brands of guns, so they would all typically have a common an ammo, like a, you know, like this is a 9mm. The Glock is a 10mm. Okay, alright. The hell was that? I will, I will admit, I don't remember everything from this map, so there will be jump scares. I hate you. The, I'm, I don't hate you as the viewer. I love you as the viewer. That I hate you was to Mick. Those maggots look way bigger than normal. Is this green liquid the cause of this? Ugh, it's pulsating. I have my gun out for this. Oh god, spiders. There's like always gotta be spiders. Oh god, I remember the texture pack for the spiders now. Oh god. Why, Mick? Why do you hate me so? Mick knows I'm a big scaredy cat. He. he ooh, wait. Do I need that? Just what I needed. I did need that for something. I'm just not sure what. All right, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done here. Uh, is this the quick exit? Ooh, must be the bathroom. Oh, that's more Glock ammo. I'm not finding much for my Beretta. Oh, yeah, and it loops back in on itself. Absolutely brilliant map design. Even this little house, you can definitely tell how much love was put in it. I think the rusty crank wheel... I think that has something to do with this. Did you see that? It, like, popped up a little... Oh, I can inspect it. Looks like a socket for a crank. Okay, that's... That's cool! That is really cool, I like that! Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Nope, only seven. Find some 9 mil. Generic 9 mil. Here's some wooden door open in the distance. I forgot about the dog attack. Gosh darn it. Uh, purple. I'll hit up this purple plant for a little bit of quick healing. Now, if I remember right. I should have replayed. I should have watched the, my old demo before I went through this. I think that opened up in the distance. Shotgun shells. That's right. There's a shotgun in this game. I think this is right. Block ammo. More. Sh oh, a health pack. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Somewhere around here. Oh, that's right. I think in here I gotta investigate something. It was... Oh, it's around here. I need to investigate something around here. I think this... 
Oh, good. More generic ammo. I thought I needed to come in here. I'm missing a door or something somewhere. I know I am. Oh, there it is. There's the door I'm missing. I didn't go far enough. Okay. Yeah, this is the way forward, unfortunately. Uh, he purposefully blocked out the stupid... Oh, look, rats. Rats? I can deal with. You know what? I could fight them. It's... I should get plenty of ammo, because I've, I've learned... Mick has trained me over the course of seven years of YouTube to search everywhere. Yes, I... The, the Mick and I's... Partnership has been going on for seven years. Oh, God, that's so loud. That's right, a card key. I need that. Click on all the doors. Health kit. All right. Security. Elevator access. Okay. Uh, insert key card here. Biotech Corp. And I, of course, want to go down. Basement one, basement two, basement three. This is going way faster than my uh, than my demo. I'm on a roll right now. Of course, I know what the hell's going on. At least Mick is nice enough to leave the lights on for me. I mean, you gotta respect the man for that. He is definitely catering to my cowardice, and I appreciate that about him. Oh, right, that's the, that's the thing we, we're going to have to fight here pretty soon. Oh, I thought there would be. I'd be able to climb up that. Oh, God, here we go. I cast gun! Oop, more ammo. Ooh, a lot of stuff here. Strong med kit. Shotgun? Okay, good. Lots and lots of ammo. I will n at be at no risk of running out here at this rate. Get kind of nervous here. Okay. Unseal the lab door. What's going on here? Is this lab the cause of these big creatures? Oh, God. That's so unnerving, seeing this thing run at you. Go away. Go away, you... You know what? I'm just gonna... That's better. What's this? This is new. Research log 300. The green biogel turns all creatures into... two an exaggerated size. Rat test 1 was successful in producing large rats. The test at the orphanage had an unexpected result, mutating all those who came in contact, including the bioengineers. This is new lore. This wasn't in the demo! No one is left at the orphanage. If you're reading this, don't go there. The mutations have grown into zombie-like creatures and are violent as well. I have taken the ladder that joins the path to the or orphanage. I hope they can't climb. This is my last log. I'm about to turn as well. Oh. Oh. That guy we just murdered was the... Oh, man. He was the engineer. Ugh. A medium arm. So now I can use up either a Glock or my Beretta ammo as I see fit here. So the medium... So the Beretta is a short recoil. Fast recoil. But a medium arm. That bridge ladder should come in handy. Hmm. Dope. Now I have the ladder. I can reach the orphanage. I should leave here and take the elevator back up. Let's do it. 
Oh, look, rats. Oh! That's got some kick. <laughs> ah, man. At least... You know, I'm just gonna leave. I don't need to fight any rats. I have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt I'm capable of killing rats. Just get me the hell out of the basement. Uh, oh wait. Oh. B5? Before what? Ha ha ha! To be or not to be? Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Get me the hell out of here. I have no desire to be in this basement any longer. Oh, I feel much better now. Okay. I took a little bit of damage, but there's a lovely plant right here. Let's see here. Click on the timber plank. Oh! Very nice, very nice, very lovely. Okay. God, the spider skin! He could... Mick, my, my buddy, my friend, my brother in Christ. You had so many options for the spider. And you chose the worst possible look for them. Like, you could not have made that any worse. Not like worse in that the design sucks, the worse in that I have to deal with that look for the rest of this map. Hmm? Can't we just be friends? I was afraid not. Was this open when I came through here last? I don't know. Stack looks suspicious. It does. Am I supposed to know that that's there? I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to know about that yet. I'm just gonna try to enter into the orphanarium. Orphanage? Looks like the door is locked. I better look around for another way in. And that would be the... Oh, right. Before here, there was my, my chest with the letter, you know, letting me know I'd finished. So the haystack is the... Oh. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we're flying completely blind. And I think this is as good as any place to end the episode. When we come back next time... Oh, I'm going to get the shit scared out of me. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Mm -hmm.